Hello, uh, this is a quick video. Uh, I got some questions on my uh, YouTube channel uh, about my um, probing routine, uh, where to locate the script and how to call it, how does my uh, interface look out on the web uh, Mark III uh, screen and how does my control panel look like. So um, I'll show you the screen. This will be a, a video shot. I hope I don't have a a screen grabber installed. This is an old XP system uh, running this. I hope you can see it. So my screen is the Tex 2010 Big Tex 2010 Blue, and the only thing I did on, on modification here is that I put a big button on top of this one saying release tool and this is uh, just a small script for activating my uh, ATC you can hear it the uh, pneumatics uh, opening and closing the drawbar mechanism so in order to call the script I don't have any buttons to do that so I need to go to the MDI and in input the script M668 you can call it whatever M code you want uh, as long as it's not used to something else or something used by by uh, Mark as default. I started out with M666 because it could be some devilish code to do so I went up for 8 as my recent version in this. So M6668 enter and then it initializes the script that I wrote. Uh, so by pressing enter the script starts up. Uh, and the same goes for the tool change. Now I don't have any buttons to press in order to change the tool. Right now tool in spindle is tool 2 uh, and it has the height offset and I put in a, a diameter here. Um, so again in order to change the tool uh, M6 um, tool 3 for instance. So this is the way that I change uh, the tool so this should initialize the tool change. Now I don't go full rapid speed and uh, the machine is very cold right now. So now it comes back again. Uh, and the program now says uh, tool 30, the diameter, and new uh, height offset. So since my, if I move over here, you can see my tool holder here in the back. Since I can just grab a tool and replace it here, I don't have any push buttons or anything useful on my control panel in order to do that. This is my control panel that I build and put on the side of it. So uh, the only thing I added here is the button so I can release the tool. Let me try to do that. So now I've got the tool here. So what this does is it, in it initializes a script saying activate relay uh, for the drawbar. Wait uh, one second I believe, one, one and a half second and disengage it again. And the, uh, it uh, illuminates, this is uh, coupled to the LED of the tool length height offset. So once, I think it's G, is it G43 or is that tool length deactivate? Or is it G49? Then this one lights up so I know that the tool length offset is, is uh, correct. So now the downside uh, to just grabbing a tool in here and place it in here. Um, I, as a user of this screen, will need to manually change the tool number. So right now while I did the M6 um, T3 it changes this tool to tool number 2. But if I manually uh, change this uh, to tool number 2 I'll need to input this and then the height changes. Now I did, I admit that, I did try to run a program where it forgot to do that so I 
I did uh, touch off at my work uh, zero and program run, program cycle start it's called. And then it simply crashes into the workpiece because it runs with the, with the incorrect uh, tool height. So that's uh, some lessons learned here. So uh, this was the tool change, um, but the tool probing. So the script you'll need to place um, where Mark 3 is uh, installed. So on my computer it's on C drive, Mark 3. And then you have a folder called Macros. And in here you have um, different profiles, so you can act, you can start Mark 3 up with different profiles, and I generated some for testing and some for different purposes. Uh, I got one here called uh, Garage Time. Uh, this is Danish uh, language, so Garage Time uh, parallel port change. When I upgraded it to two parallel ports, uh, a copy of Garage Time, etc., etc. So the, the profile I'm running right now is a smooth uh, stepper profile. Uh, I added a smooth stepper instead of the parallel port. You open up this one. And here you have all the macro files and the M scripts uh, placed. Uh, so as you can see I have M666, M667, M668, um, M668 old because uh, yeah, it's uh, ongoing development. So you place that in here um, and start up the Mark III with the uh, profile. This is a garage time with the smooth stepper. And this is the profile that I've loaded here. So M668 will initialize the uh, probe routine program that I wrote uh, on the other YouTube channel. Enter. Enter the first tool number to probe. That would be one, and this, the last one to probe that would be two. You can see that on, on my other video, I won't show it here, uh, just uh, how it looks. So this was where to install it, how my screen looks like, and um, how my control panel looks like uh, over here. Um, it would be nice that I could have a button up here, M, uh, sorry, tool 1 to 6 or 1 to 8, so just push the button and that initializes uh, M6T4 uh, for instance and then it changes, grabs the tool but I think uh, for my use my small DIY setup I could simply just grab the tool change it here and change it up on the machine so yeah uh, it could be fun though just to to add it as, as a gimmick uh, would also be, be looking nice that the control panel would see it would illuminate the tool um, tool 1, tool 2, tool 3, tool 4 uh, on this one. Uh, I could also make it a, as a DRO um, and I'm not sure if you can read this let me try to get a little closer so right now I got the X, uh, DRO, Y, Z my feed rate override is a 100% set to 6 and my CPU load on the computer uh, yeah, it's not doing anything right now so here you could put in the line tool or active tool or something like that tool at, at the end of the C line uh, 01, 02, 03 etc that could be yeah, uh, a nice thing quite easy to do also Yeah, I think that uh, wraps it up. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so please comment or please uh, write some uh, questions or anything. Subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, it was fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon. Bye.